It's time for Name by Goo Goo Dolls for the following people who have names. Ryan McKenzie, Arthur Keith, Alexander Ekstrom, Brandon Calloway, BJH35, Catherine Jigi, Kyle Beal, Mighty J, and Michael L. And while I'm saying all these names, I hope you don't mind if I take just a moment to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Troy Bray, Conrad Walsh, and Michael L. Folks, thank you very, 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 very much for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, is in the description. Well, you're not going to like this very much, but don't shoot the messenger. In order to play this song, you're going to have to put your guitar into the following bananas tuning. Your E string is going down two notes to D, just like drop D. Your A string stays put at A. Your D string, I'm afraid, goes up two notes to E. Your G string similarly goes up two notes to A. You might want to wear goggles when you tune this. Your B string goes down two notes to the same A. And your E string stays put, thank goodness, at E. Congratulations, you're now in, well, this tuning. I suppose it's an open D suspended two. Sounds like it already. Of course, I'm still going to call the strings what they're normally called, so we don't have a collective stroke. Take a finger, preferably your finger, and put it on the E string 7th fret. When you do this, you're also going to endeavor to mute that A string. We don't need that note right now. Pluck your E7, and then you're going to strum. Down, up, up, down, up. You can be strummy with it. You can be plucky with it or you can be in between with it. But B, U, and this bass note's gonna change, that's gonna be our plucking strumming pattern for the in-betweens. E7. E6. Now A5. And when you do the A5, you can mute the E string with your thumb so you don't have to worry about that now. E7. A5. Now, our little plucky strumming pattern is going to change. E4, followed by just down up, then E2. Same thing, and then open E string before the move of destiny. Here we go. E7. E6. A5. Here we go, pointer finger on A7, you're gonna give it a strum and you don't really have to worry about what strings ring out and what strings don't here because your whole guitar is correct. A string seven, it's gonna hammer up to nine. Right when your ring finger makes it to that A9, your pointer finger is gonna make its way to D7. You're gonna strum again and hammer your pinky finger onto D9. Then strum once more, ring and pinky fingers are going to slide all the way up to 12, then just strum away. So that's the first half of your move of destiny. One more time. Now for the second half, which starts exactly the same. When you get there, give it one more strum. And then your D string goes 9, 7, open, 7, 9, 7, open. And truly, that last open is an open everything, and that gives you time to get back to the beginning. back into it, right? So you do once and then before you go back into the first and so on and so forth Then we've got the strummy part. You could call this the chorus. Grab the E string, fourth fret again, endeavoring to mute that A string. And what happens is 
That E string goes 4-5. I don't know if that's Gavin doing that or somebody else, but regardless, you can do it. We're gonna make our way down to E2, and this time the little doop doop is E4, B4. And you'll hear variations on that. You can basically just put your fingers somewhere, and if it sounds good, you should do it. You could do E4, E open. Or E open B4. Or anything you can come up with. Four, five. Four, four. And then, what's easier than that? Second time. riff on the B string, 4, 5, 4, 2, O. Oh. But again, we've got all that open stuff going on, so you've got all the leeway in the universe to play any notes that sound good to you. Anything that sounds good sounds good, so do anything there. Speaking of you do you, that's the theme of this solo, this strummy solo section that happens in this song. It's the A major scale, and I'm going to stay on the B string, which of course is now the A string, for sake of this conversation. So A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. Strum all the strings with that. A, sound great. Continuing right along, we've got A, B, C sharp, D, E is as high as I can go, so play any of those notes in any order, strumming away all the while. And anything's gonna sound great. I was unsure about one of those notes, but it sounded great. <laughs> You do you. So what are you waiting for? Go do it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. Yep. It's a fake hang-up. Today's question comes from Mr. Jonathan Cohen, who says, My question for you is which do you prefer, acoustic or electric guitar? By the way, the static effect is really creepy. I would change it if I were you. Situational. I would never play name on an electric guitar. It wouldn't be the song anymore, right? That said, it's fun to switch it up sometimes. You might try playing Killing in the Name on your acoustic and see if it sounds good. That said, if I'm gonna play for a long time, like several hours at a little gig that I do sometimes, every time I'm playing solo electric because the strings are thinner and therefore easier to push down, I can play all night on an electric guitar, but if I play for an hour on the acoustic, my shoulder hurts and then my fingers are ble it's all bad news. <laughs> And on that point, beginners out there, if you're shopping for your very first guitar ever and you're weighing all the pros and cons about which way to go, acoustic or electric, I would say the pro of it being much easier to play, you know, put your fingers on this thing for the first time and the acoustic guitar really hurts, is that the electric guitar is much easier to play. So keep that in mind. I hope that helps. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>